Here we are, Katz's Deli on New York City's Lower East Side. Let's go meet the owner. Hey, how are you? Hold on to your ticket. You're going to use it to order your food. Just return it back in the mail, okay? Cool. Sounds right, good. Tell you more. Hey, I'm Will. I'm Jake. How are you? Welcome to Katz's. Uh, show you around, talk a little bit about the place. Uh, yeah. But first things first, let's get you fed. Let's do it. All right. How old is Katz's Deli? So we've been here 129 years now. I'm the fifth generation. That's incredible. And what are we starting with? We're gonna start you off today with a nice hot dog. It's the classic appetizer. A little, little mustard, a little crowd. It's perfect. So how old were you when you first took over? Uh, I was, uh, I was about 22, 23. Nice. And how old are you now? I'm about 30 now. So. Oh, cool. And so here's the pastrami. Exactly. These are where all the cutters are. This is where all the magic happens. This is the, the main course. This is the pastrami on rye, mm -hmm. a little bit of mustard. Um, that's our classic. That's what we're known for right there. Um, about 15,000 pounds a week of that. Oh my gosh. Decent that's amount. That's pretty insane. Decent amount. So, you know, in a word or two, what's the biggest difference between Katz's in the 1800s and Katz's under you? Not much, to be honest. Uh, the food's the same. Um, the, the, the recipes are the same. Everything's the same. The store has changed a little bit since, you know, 1949 was our last time we did renovations. Wow. But short of that, it's almost identical, so. And uh, I heard you guys made your own beer with Brooklyn Brewery. That's right. We have a great Katz's Ale for you guys. Um, they're nice, dark brown. They're light, but uh, flavorful. Yeah, it's great. I like it. And then, well, this looks delicious. But yeah. Jake, are you going to help me with this? Most certainly will. Let's cool. do it. So how many times a week do you eat this? Uh, I got to taste it every day, right? Yeah. Right. And that's quality control, right? It's fine. <laughs> right. It is, absolutely. It's, uh, this looks like a perfect table. It and does, it's conveniently yeah. set up for us. It is. Cameras and everything. It's almost like we planned it. <laughs> it's almost. Uh, perfect. Okay. Well, Jake, thank you. Yeah, cheers. Clearly, your, your last name isn't Katz. Can you bring me through the lineage? Um, it started with the Iceland family. Uh, then they brought in the Katz family and kicked out the Iceland family. And the Katz family brought in the Tarowskis and some other families. And, and then brought in my grandfather, who was Adele. Yeah. Uh, and my grandfather, then when my father and uncle got involved, the last of the Katz family left the business. And then it was just me. And so what makes this deli so iconic? I think first and foremost, it's the food, right? This is, we consistently get voted best hot dog in New York, best pastrami, best latkes, best matzo ball soup. It's classic food that you can't get elsewhere. But it's also the nostalgia. It's the fact that you walk in, it's, it looks, it sounds, it smells, and it tastes exactly the same as the first time you came here. You guys obviously are a New York institution, but without the nostalgia, without the history, like if you were brand new today, do you think you could survive? I think it's very difficult. Yeah. I think restaurants in New York have a really hard time. On top of that, I think the economics of the deli in particular are difficult. To get specific about the sandwich, how much does it cost to make a sandwich like this? It's twenty-one forty-five for a sandwich. It uh, cost me a lot to make. What is your margin? Ah, uh, you know, I can't tell you that. That'd be like me telling you the recipe. You know, that's I can't true. Do yeah, that. that's true. Got to keep it secret. It's but how do you make it work then? Well, we do other things, right? You, you work on volume, uh, and things like shipping really help with that. So, in terms of revenue streams, you know, you have shipping and delivery, you obviously have this location, then your second location in Brooklyn, and I'm assuming, like, merch you guys sell, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your biggest revenue generator? Well, you know, the, they all help the bottom line. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> not it's like the recipe. It. <laughs> right, right. It's all secret at Katz. Were you nervous at all taking on Katz's? I mean, it must have been like a... Of course I was nervous. I mean, I'd be crazy not to be nervous. This place is so big, so amazing, so special. It's a, it's a big machine in, in and of itself sometimes. And, and I'd be crazy not to be nervous about right. it. And what's your 30-year plan? My 30-year plan is to be right here. In yeah. 30 years, you'll see me right at this table. I like it. We'll be drinking a beer. That's cool. Well, in 30 years... I'll look forward to seeing you. Cheers.